Hey, we're live. No, we're not live yet. Yeah, we're live. Sal says, YouTube says, you are live. Hey, good morning. This is the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Definitely not 5 a.m. right now, but it's about 9.31. Um, it is a Thursday. This is our 394 show, and my phone just went off because if you ring the bell and put the little double thing on the YouTube, you'll get notifications when we go live, so I get the little sound that tells me I should mute my phone because otherwise if someone calls me because we are so late, they're like, hey, Greg, I need your help. Well, I won't phone calls in the middle of the show because it is live and you never know what people might do. Um, so this is the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show where we talk about Agile Scrum in a practical and tactical way, thoughts, processes, sharing things going on in the world, what's out there. Um, a little later than normal, just because I went and intended that we have a uh, once a month an Agile coffee about 8 o'clock in the morning here in Philadelphia. It's open to anybody. We had people from Singapore pass before. And I'll talk more about um, remote stuff and Agile groups tomorrow. It's a topic of something that came up that I will share. Um, but did that earlier. Figured I wanted to do that first and then to do the show later. Maybe I'll take an hour or two off of work today. And get some priority stuff done that I need to do for my house and things I got to do. Um, anyway, it's all about priorities, right? You got to set your priorities, what needs to be done. Hopefully, you're in a place that's flexible enough to do such a thing. Um, sometimes they're not. Sometimes I'm not in a place that's flexible for that either. So it's all everywhere. Anyway. What do we want to talk about today? We talk about things to get you home to family and friends and get work done and stuff value to the customer. It's quicker, faster, better, and also have some fun along the way, right? Um, that's it. Um, a lot. It's bad. We're live, too. They tell you not to say um when you speak. Maybe I'll work on that through the next couple of episodes. Two things I want to talk about today. I want to talk about marketing team and some thoughts and concepts on that. I was kind of just browsing through the... Uh, the scrum guides and just reading it. And it's just some of the things that popped up in my head. I don't think we talk enough about, um, um, there's the, um, again about agile outside. Now my wife was calling me. Oh, geez. Why is she calling me? I don't know. She probably called me from the store. See live wife calls you. It's too late. <laughs> They're all like, I need your opinion on something. Um, and then sprint reviews. And I wanted to talk a little bit about sprint reviews and the dynamics that should go. I think we talked about it before, but as I was reading this from guide, I just want to reiterate some things that are in there that are not mentioned enough that I believe from a sprint review perspective. Okay. So marketing team, there's a book called the sprint by a person uh, last name is nap. I think it's K N A P P. I love that book. To me, that's what I envision a marketing, an agile marketing team should be. What I envision and what I'm sharing, this is my opinion, this is what I see and how I, and I thought. Uh, it's, it would have people that had customer focus, uh, developers, front-end people, BAs, testers, and basically – Working as a team to produce a product, okay? We always talk about Scrum and Agile. It's about getting a product out of the customer. And the idea is that it can quickly put something in front of the customer, whether it be a test marketing group or whatever, just get some ideas. And by having all those functionalities or the thought process in a team, kind of like an extreme programming team, um, they can share concepts and ideas and and decide whether or not something's actually achievable my worst fears and when i do stuff and i've worked many years with the government is they would build a product that that's not buildable now there are people like uh Elon musk right he has vision and pushing it and he can help drive that and they've built things that other people thought weren't possible and i think that's good I also think when you have the marketing and the vision together with some developers and coders, you can make front ends, you can make samples, you can make product that you can get out pretty quickly in a month, let's say within a month. It doesn't, does it always have to be two weeks? I love this sprint because he does things in a week, but then maybe it takes a little longer after the week to actually to do that. But getting stuff in front of a customer in a week, 
I love it. I love the concept. I love the idea. It's like kind of like A-B testing. So I think the marketing team has to have people from those different areas in the team so that there's also some thoughts on how are we going to deploy this out to the, the entire customer base. Or maybe you don't deploy it to the entire customer base. Maybe it's just for a smaller group of customer base in a particular market. And maybe there's some ideas on how do we focus on that group. Like if you make an ad, like in Facebook, you can put ads out in Facebook for geocentric locations. So you can customize, and this is something Gary Vee talks about, you can customize the ad for that little region and not worry about, well, this is this ad applied to the whole entire country. No, maybe you can do it your neighbors. Maybe, you know, hey, maybe they need a coffee shop. Maybe they need some, um, you know, staples type stuff office supplies, groceries, whatever, you can customize and just market in your little geolocation and anybody who's using Facebook in that location will get that ad. It's a, it's amazing how they have transitioned the whole marketing process in the world and you have to be agile and you need those technical people that kind of understand how to use that stuff to get there. Right. So having those technical people along with the visionaries or what they want to market, what they see in the marketplace, customer focus, customer understanding, the data driven in a team helps them rapidly produce something out there. And if it works, will it work in other things? You can you can turn around that in a week. Right. Um, but the problem is everybody has what well, has to be everywhere. And I don't think it has to be everywhere. I think you can market it and you have a good team together. You can build some focus, put it out there, see if you get some response. And go from there. So when I talk about a marketing team, I look to the book called The Sprint as a guide for what a marketing team should do and how they should operate, which has one week sprints. But he doesn't know anything about Agile. He just called it The Sprint, which I totally love. And and is very Agile in mindset. And that the marketing team should have somebody from developers, testers. And you want testers. And don't say, I don't want any testers. No, you need testers because a tester has a different mindset and how they might want to test the operation of whatever product you're putting out there that maybe a developer didn't do. Maybe a tester has an idea. But what happens if they hit this? Oh, shoot, it just broke the whole darn thing. That's not good. Or, hey, I clicked this button. It just sent me to their competition's website. We don't want to do that, right? So those are the kind of things that people go through and verify that we're, we're, we're doing good and meet what our goal was. So that's what I wanted to talk about marketing team, what should make up a marketing team, how to do that. I think if you read this, the sprint, you think about the different people with their different capabilities on a team. Think like an XP product development system. That is what the best marketing team would be. Not all pure business people, not all pure dev people, you know, a little mix of everything on the team and working together, bring their thoughts into the equation to produce the best marketing product. All right. So that's marketing team. The other thing I wanted to talk about was sprint reviews. And I'm reading from my book just because I wrote some stuff just down from the, the guide. You know, the way they talk about the guide, and I don't think this emphasized enough, product owner explain what has been done and what has not been done. So in the reviews, the product owner should be up there say, hey, I own the product. I'm the, quote, owner of the product. They should talk about what got done. And there should be other people, stakeholders in there talking about what's going on. So there is some introduction stuff it's not just demoing the software right and maybe they explain where the journey is where where the team where they envision the product itself going not the team but the product what's the vision for the product product owner product not the envision how the team's going to crank out some code lines right the dev team shares any problems that they had and maybe things that they incurred so it's a great opportunity to for the dev team to share any barriers or blockers, risks they see in the futures that they could use stakeholder feedback and stakeholder assistance in fixing in the future, right? So it's a great opportunity. And I think we talked about that before where, where I think teams miss out on bringing up things they had. And since they have all these stakeholders, managers, customers, things they need, I need help with such and such, you know, it would be great to have some more customer feedback, it'd be great to have a better environment, whatever those things are, we can produce more product if we have those. It's great to bring them up in the sprint review. And then the last one, which I kind of get, and, and I'm all 
all different ways on the fence. It depends on where you're at. The dev team demo. So the dev team would demonstrate the product. Sometimes I wonder if it makes sense also the stakeholder should do it sometimes. The product owner, you know, I'm a big proponent of the product owner demoing or it as, let me put it this way. I'm a very big proponent as you go into the sprint and you're going to hand something over for the product owner to approve because you don't, you're not supposed to wait to the last day to the, 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 the sprint to get feedback. Otherwise, the burn down chart does, does not, it, the, why do a burn down chart? Because you never get to get done until the last day, right? That's counterintuitive. Um, them running the pack, the software or, or giving feedback and actually physically using it during those little sessions. And then the dev team, right? So I think that's really important. My only twist is at different times, different people might operate it. Maybe maybe you change the way the review is. If you got a product and you're just unveiling it, maybe you have fun and make it a free-for-all for the people who are test says, we're gonna turn this all on for all you people in this room and play, <laughs> you know. Go use a product. Give us feedback. We're going to spend an hour, and we're going to do intensive uh, capturing of ideas, thoughts, issues, th concerns, and we're going to let you use the software. I would love that to change up the process. That would be so cool. You know, that should be done. It should be more done, but can't be done all the time. Maybe there's too much information for the brain to handle. But to break it up, says so, you know, we set it up, we lay the table up. Everything's there. Everybody's going to have access to the software in whatever environment there are. And we invite you to play with it and give us feedback in like a, a Slack chat or some kind of Teams chat or whatever you have to give us feedback. But the one person who should not demo or do the review or run the review is the Scrum Master, right? I see, I've seen in the past I have Scrum Masters actually running the, the demo and running the software. I don't believe the scrum master should ever do that. So maybe you scrum masters, that's this one job I try to take away from you. If you think you're doing it, it should it definitely better be the dev team, you know, product owners. I would love to have product owners demo the software stakeholders every once in a while, let them play, change the way you do the review. You know, we're done. We're, we like this stuff. The product owners happy with it. Be my guest stakeholders, play with the software and, and, and try it out. Right. Um, that would be awesome. So those are my levels. But the scrum master it really shouldn't be doing the software. They are just there to help facilitate the discussion with that. I'm going to say thumbs up. Hey, you got a little thumbs up. Doo -doo -doo. I see you tomorrow. Friday. Tomorrow's going to be fortune cookie Friday. Got some, we went to a local Chinese restaurant. So I got some more fortune cookies because I like theirs better. Um, and just to break it up and support up my local businesses, uh, try to go to different places, use some of that PPP money they gave. And I go around and I go to different restaurants, even if it's just to buy one thing, I'll buy the one thing. So please ring the bell. If you like the show, tell your friends, um, tomorrow we'll talk more about different activities out there, uh, meetups and things like that. I'll have a discussion on that. Share some of the meetups I've been around the world and things I've seen. And we'll do a little bit of that. And we'll do the Fortune Cookie Friday, and we'll see what else comes up between now and then. With that, have a great day. Enjoy your Thursday, and hope you get to handle some of your priorities and prioritize what you need to do. Take care. See ya. Bye. Enjoy your day. See you tomorrow.